I love myself some double uploads because I got nothing else to do and January revenue is garbage and this video is short, but I have lots of fun making this one. It is 10 times more exciting than the last depressing one. Now, if you see the title of this video, that is not a question being asked by the video that we're going to respond for today. That is a question that I genuinely want to ask to you guys. Are women really interested in video games? That is an important question to be asked for this video. Because answering that question will answer a lot of other statements and questions that our video for today has raised. I know that Rags did a video on this, but I want to give in my personal input as well. This is a short video that I'm about to respond to. I'll make sure that the response is about as short as well. From the title alone, we already encounter a problem. Why people think video games are just for boys? Adam, let's ask the question, are women really interested in video games? If they aren't, that answers your question. If they are, how many? Are they enough to be considered a trend to be catered to by the market? Let's see how Adam answered this question. Early video games like Pong were totally unisex. Am I a boy dot or a girl dot? You're just a dot. Ow, 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 ow. In fact, the game was marketed to the entire family. What about Pac-Man? He was a boy. True, but the game was so popular with women that when it came time for a sequel, the developers gave it a female main character, Ms. Pac-Man. That is true. Pac-Man does indeed have lots of female fan base to the point where there's a game called Miss Pac-Man. So it shows that there are women out there who are interested in Pac-Man, but not in video games in general. His general point here is that women have been in video games before, but in order to prove that, he showed one example that does not dispute a trend. And not only was much of the audience female, many of the developers were too. Among the stars of early game design were Atari's Carol Shaw, Centipede creator Donna Bailey, and Roberta Williams, an adventure game pioneer and company co-founder whose King's Quest series was a massive hit among gamers of all stripes. That is also indeed true, but let's take a look at the games that these women developed, shall we? Carol Shaw is a video game developer of a game called River Raid. Donna Bailey, Misspelled there, Adam, is a video game developer of Centipede. Roberta Williams is the creator of the King's Quest series. Keep all of these in mind. We're gonna get back to that later. Cool, seems like everything's great. Can I play my game now? Nope, because all of that changed thanks to the video game crash of 1983. Greedy publishers started flooding the market with shoddy games like I Want My Mommy, Lost Luggage, and E.T. for the Atari 2600 which has been called one of the worst games of all time. Yeah, that is a very tragic PTSD that every gamer have to suffer through. I, I can still feel it. It's right here, man. It's right here. So when it came time to market the original Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo devised a plan. Instead of selling it in the electronics section, they sold it in the toy aisle. But by then, the toy aisle was completely separated into pink and blue, boy and girl. They went with boy. And then they marketed to those boys relentlessly. So this is Adam's main point. People think that video games are just for boys because they market it for boys. They sell it for the boys. They put it in the boys section of the toys. And to that, the answer is not really. Let's get back to before the video game crash. Pac-Man is popular with women because... They put it in the arcades, a completely gender-neutral place. Anybody can enter and play. However, Pac-Man is not the only arcade game. There are tons and tons of arcade games out there, and most of these arcade games are played by boys. Again, the question that should be asked here is, are women or girls really interested in playing video games in the first place? Or, in your specific video, Adam, before the video game crash, how many women or girls are interested in playing video games other than Pac-Man? Just because a lot of women play Pac-Man does not mean that women are interested in playing video games in general. Remember the game developers that you mentioned previously? Did you notice something odd? Notice how the games that they develop are two action games 
and one adventure game. Boys love action games. Roberta Williams' game King Quest is an adventure game, but it's a masculine sort of game, and it's a popular game as you say. So back before the video game crash, popular games like these three proved that before the rise of Nintendo, games are more popular with boys. Despite Exceptions like Pac-Man, in which it is indeed more popular with girls. And Nintendo picked the decision of catering it to boys because previously games cater more to boys. There's also another reason that you need to consider, and this is incredibly important. Their launch titles. What games do you think will win the audiences over? Action games? Or Barbie doll simulators? What games will you think that have great gameplay or will have good gameplay or can be played and it can be incredibly fun? Action games or Barbie doll simulators? Well, Nintendo chooses action games and guess what? Most of their launch titles are action games. Do you know who loves action games? The boys, of course. That's why they put it here and not here. There aren't a lot of girls who are into sports, wrecking buildings, crushing Goombas, and shooting ducks. However, and this is a big however, this does not mean that they cannot play them. This is the key part here. Games are meant for boys. This does not mean that girls cannot play them. All of those sports games, they work the same way as real life. They're mostly for boys. That doesn't mean that girls cannot go into them. This is the key part here. I have to put this in text because this is a point that Adam constantly misses. We now think of video games as being the exclusive domain of the male sex. Okay, there are so many things wrong with this frame. First of all, that dick is very inappropriate. And second of all, I can literally switch video games with Barbie dolls and dicks with vagina, and it would stay true with Barbie dolls in general. Yes, different toys cater to different genders. The key point that you should understand here is that gender is not a restriction of playing the other toy. Does video game consoles have a glory hole that you need to enter to before you can actually turn it on? Of course not. I watched Barbie when I was in first grade, and I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna be ashamed of saying that because that is a fact of my first grade life. And Barbie is very hot at the time. I went to some really awkward phases. Okay, those ads are weird, but boys just like video games more than girls do. Sorry, Jake, that's a straight up myth. Ah, Adam, boys love video games more. That is true. I challenge you to ruin this. More adult women play video games than teenage boys do. Sweet! Oh, you're citing the ESA paper! Guess what, Adam? I have it right here too! This is the part that he cited. Women age 18 or older represented a significantly greater portion of the game playing population than boys age 18 or younger. That's because, Adam, hear me out here, the average age of gamers are 35 years old, as in more adults play video games than teenagers regardless of gender. To say that there are more older women who play video games than teenage boys is a massive cherry pick because regardless of gender, the population of teenage gamers consists of only a quarter of them. The rest are populated by adults, including adult men, who are the majority target demographic. Now, let's divide these adults in gender. I'm gonna give you a study from Pew on men aged between 18 to 29 as in the older demographic, out of the 77% who said that they have played video games, 33 percent of them identify as gamers. On the other hand, women on the same age out of the 57 percent who said that they have played video games, only 9 percent of them identify as gamers. On the statistics above, if we added the number of men and women who identify as gamers, it turns out that about slightly more than a quarter of women who play video games identify as gamers. Again, this is to the people who identify as gamers. We are excluding some of those filthy casuals that only play Candy Crush. So Adam, when you say that it's a myth, 
You're blatantly lying by cherry picking the data. But the question that should be asked here is what Adam is going to do with that data? That's just counting stupid phone games. Uh, so? Games are games, Jake. Now, Adam is kind of right on this because mobile absolutely dominates the gaming market in terms of revenue. But when people refer to video games, they don't usually refer to the casual games in mobile. Oh sure, they are video games, speaking in a technical aspect. But they're the weakest platform and that's not what comes to people's head when they talk about video games. People put a hell of a lot more attention on the stronger platforms like the consoles or the PC. It's gonna take a while before mobile is included when people refer to the gaming industry. All that means is that mainstream consoles like PS4 and Xbox One are refusing to serve a huge untapped market. Untapped market. Oh, so now you're talking about consoles and PC gaming. Adam, they both have different demographics, okay? The consoles and PC gaming does not have a huge untapped market, especially when you cherry pick your data. Again, out of the people who identify as gamers, slightly more than a quarter of them are women. So it's still a male-dominated industry, and the reason for that can be explained by honestly answering the question, are women really interested in video games? And by video games, I mean PC gaming or console gaming. We're talking millions of women who would love to play more games, but are being pushed away from the hobby by weird, old-fashioned marketing that publishers are sticking with seemingly out of sheer force of habit. Force of habit. So women are forced out of video games because of crappy, terrible marketing that cater to boys? To all women out there, Adam is saying that you cannot play video games or you get pushed out of video games because the video game ads mostly cater to men. If that actually stops you from getting into video games, perhaps you need to ask the question whether or not you're interested in the first place. Why are you hurting me, Megan? Because I'm mad at you. I like games. I've always liked them. It's just sometimes I feel like they don't love me back. Why? Why don't they love you back? You act like I'm not supposed to play them or something just because you listen to all these stupid ads. Oh no! Those terrible misogynistic video game ads that only 1% of people actually believe! <laughs> this is from your own study that you cited, Adam. This is why I want to make this video. This is why. Adam's entire point on why video games cater more into men is because the terrible, terrible video game ads that objectifies women and pushes women out of gaming. Something that almost no gamer even use as a consideration on purchasing video games. Your own study that you cited here, Adam, shows that on the top five reason why people play video games from the lowest to the highest, familiar to past experience, continuation of a favorite series, word of mouth, price, and interesting story slash premise. If you want to invite more women into the video game industry, consider all of those five important factors on whether or not your game will sell well. So Adam, congratulations on ruining yourself. <laughs> Jake, video games are the greatest new art form of the century. They can do anything. Saying they're for just one gender is ridiculous. The only one who said that is you. Again, slightly more than 25% of women have entered gaming. If we think that video games are only for boys, I don't think we're just gonna let women dominate a quarter of us. Yeah, it's like saying movies are just for girls or books are just for dads. Because lady, no gamers have ever made that argument. Only stupid people do. And you're attacking a straw man. A hilarious straw man that you cannot even refute. When we think about video games in such a limited way, it makes the games worse, it loses the industry money, and it's really mean to your sister. I agree, Adam. It does make the game worse. Damn it, Doom is my favorite game of all time, but the game instantly turns into my own personal worst game of all time. Absolute trash. Do you know why? Because no women ever wanted to play it with me. <laughs> Jake, 
just wait. He'll burn out in about three minutes. Yeah, I've seen this before. Adam, can I ask you an honest question? Whose arguments are you trying to refute at this point? This video is amazing. I love it. Adam not only cherry picks data, but his own source managed to defeat his own arguments. It's actually quite spectacular. Again, Adam, and to my dear viewers, let's all answer the question. Are women really interested in playing video games? I'm not saying that women aren't interested in playing video games. I'm not saying that women are as well. I think this question needs to be honestly answered to determine the answer to the question that Adam asked. I know, answering a question by asking another question, but the original question is pretty loaded. I know that there are female gamers out there, but those female gamers cannot be a representative of women in general. So guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. That's all for the video today. If you like this, you can go ahead and click the like button and subscribe for more if you wish. You can support me on Patreon. And thanks for watching.